Hi everyone! In this video, I want to explore the logic of perception, the basic unit of deep learning. Perception are well known to be a statistical model working with an optimization mechanism, but it have also a lot in common with logical gates with a different side on it. In some configuration, perception can act like an OR gate, an AND gate, and so on. Here, we will explore how perception and logical gates are related, the impact of parameters, and then we will see how to interpret neural networks differently. And I will begin with a reminder of what perception is. Here, I will only consider perception of two inputs to stay simple. Basically, a perception is a function that takes multiple inputs, combines them with parameters, and apply a threshold. More precisely, it performs a scalar project between the inputs and what is called the weight. And a special parameter, called the bias, is added over. Inputs and parameters are usually real numbers, and then the threshold function activate or not if the argument is over zero. There is several possible threshold functions like sigmoid or the step function. So now you know the formula of a perception, but what is the purpose of it? Perceptions are used as binary classifier. It can learn how to class data with an algorithm that takes samples of input-output and tune the parameters until it reaches the best classification of these samples. This is a statistical approach, because perceptions are used to fit the distribution of a sample of data. From here, we can have a look to neural network. When perceptions are combined together, they form a neural network that have a stronger power of classification. They must be arranged in an acyclic graph to avoid recurrent connection. Otherwise, the principle is almost the same. There are more parameters, more samples data, and especially there is another algorithm called backpropagation to tune the parameters. Here again, this is a statistical approach. So now that I sum up how perception are used and implemented, we can take a different path and explore the logical side of perception. To explore the logic of perception, one must restrict the set of inputs to work with Boolean. So inputs and outputs must be only 0 or 1. The step function already ensures that the output is 0 or 1. So what does it mean for the domain? Instead of R, inputs are boolean and output is also boolean. And when you think about it, this is already the domain of a logical gate. This means that just by applying a threshold on the domain, we made a logical gate from a perception. So from now, choose table will fit better to study the behavior of the perception as a logical gate. Let's see some examples just to get used to this new model of perception. So here I have a perception with the following parameters. And here is the formula, the updated formula. And now, according to this formula, we can fulfill the table and apply the threshold. And here is the output. When looking closely, y is actually identical to x1, so the boolean formula equivalent, or the logical gate, is y equal x1. Now another example with these parameters, the updated formula, the threshold or the output. Now what we have the only place where y equal 1 is when x1 and x2 are equal 1, so this is equivalent to the AND gate. One last example with these parameters. 
I update the formula again, fulfill the truth table. So here what we have, everything is beyond the threshold. So this is equivalent to the logical gate true. So perception have a logical gate that match each of its parameters configuration. It means that if we draw the parameter space of W1, W2, B, we could see the area of each logical gate and have an idea of how they are distributed on that space. So let's explore that parameter space. Here are the 2D maps of parameter space with W1 and W2 along the axis and for a null BS. On the legend, there is a color code for each region. The brighter is the color, the more true stable contains one, and vice versa. For example, false is black because it always returns zero, and true is white because it always returns one. If I set a lower value of BS, the map becomes darker, so it have more zero in the true stable. And inversely, if I increase BS, it is brighter. We can see also that logical gates that are close to each other have almost the same true stable. For example, x1 and x1 or x2 have almost the same output except for one case. It ensures some sort of continuity between each area. But this is not true near intersection point. Actually, this view is not the best interpretation we can have of equivalence between perception and logical gates. And also, there is no occurrence of XOR and NXOR gates, and we don't know why here. So let's see another approach. If we write down the formula again, it is not immediately obvious, but this is actually the equation of a plan along the variable x1 and x2. So w1, w2 and b are parameters of the plan. And when you apply the threshold, it gives you the area where the perception return 1 and the area where it returns zero, respectively over the line or under the line. And actually, x1 and x2 doesn't vary along an axis. There are only two possible values of each, since there are boolean, so four combinations as in the true stable. This graph should be interpreted this way. If the blue points or the vertices are in the right area, the output in the true stable return 1. It means that the perception activate for this input. So depending on where the threshold line is passing by, the logical gate may change or not. Let's see some examples of how it will behave. So what does it mean for the perception? A perception of n inputs is applying a linear separation with a hyperplane in n dimension. The hyperplane actually separates the vertices of the inputs in a n hypercube that represent each entry of the true stable. So a logical perception can only fit a linearly separable logical gates. XOR, for example, is not linearly separable, and this is why it didn't appear in the parameter space. Now that we have explored the equivalence between perception and logical gates, let's explore what a logical neural network is equivalent to. We saw that logical perception are equivalent to logical gates, and neural networks are a sequence of perception connected to each other. 
So logical neural network are a sequence of logical gates connected to each other. In other words, this is a digital circuit. So that means that it could fit, for example, a 4-bit adder as it could be implemented in a CPU because there are nothing more than binary inputs, outputs and logical gates. But are they both 100% equivalent? Actually, no. Digital circuits allow recurrent connection like in the other circuit with a carry that propagates on each power of 2 and neural networks are only processing forward with an acyclic graph structure. But there is some sort of requirement to allow it. One must set a clock in a neural network to synchronize each step. Then there could be an order to process recurrent connection considering previous state. So we are close to the end. What we have seen so far is that perception become a logical gate as soon as we restrain the domain of input-output as Boolean. The impact of the perception parameters on the logical gates is more clear when considering a perception as a hyperplane that cuts the truth table in two. Then we have seen that if a logical perception is a logical gate, then logical neural network is really close to digital circuit, but it needs a change in the computation flow. The logical approach is far from the usual machine learning approach with an optimization function. It doesn't apply here anymore because logical neural network is closer to a program than a statistical model. I think that this logical approach is important to realize what we can expect from a classical neural network. Every function that have too much iteration, feedback behavior, like the carry in an 4-bit adder, might be hard to approximate by a neural network that only processes the data once in a fit-forward way. Neural networks seem to approximate one-shot function even with complex maths like filter, Fourier transform, convolution or stochastic process. And this is one of the reasons why neural networks are usually better in image detection than in arithmetics. So thank you for watching, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Don't hesitate to subscribe and see you soon.